Welcome to the season finale of Without a Recipe. Finally, all four Try Guys are back together. We're making ice cream cakes. Hey, ring the bell on your way out. We love a good tipper. Oh, God, it's melting into it. It's all melting into each other. Key. One. <laughs> oh, my God, so good. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm burning something. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Wow. The Try Guys are back in the test kitchen for the finale of Without a Recipe, Summer Season. Today, they will be making a combination of two previous recipes, an ice cream cake. I got here by powder. Oh no, here, take some of my milk. <laughs> that helped. Okay, good. For this final episode, the guys will have three days to create their masterpiece. First day to make the ice cream. Oh, I broke the whisk. Oh my God. Second day to bake the cake. Oh, oh no. Crazy. I guess my theme was fire, so. Holy shit. And the third day to assemble and decorate. Then they will present it to a panel of judges. Oh my God, look how appetizing that is. Oh, it looks like diarrhea. <laughs> Welcome to Without a Recipe, ice cream cakes. Yay! It's the finale. Oh yeah, I feel like I'm gonna judge a little harsher today. And you've been here all along. <gasps> yes. They've been learning and growing as people. Girl, same. <laughs> uh-huh. Hi, my name is Rachel, and I'm a producer for the Try Guys, and I make this show. She sees through our bullshit. I know, she, she saw the whole thing. I'm Rosanna Panzino. I have a popular baking show on YouTube, and I also host Baketopia, a baking competition show on HBO Max, and I have had the pleasure of judging every episode of Without a Recipe. Hi, I'm Casey Shea, and I am a pastry chef with 12 years of experience in the industry. So I've worked for Milk Bar in Las Vegas, at the Wynn and the Encore Resorts, as well as the Cosmopolitan, the Four Seasons. Here in Los Angeles, I used to be the pastry chef at the Rose in Venice. I have also worked at the San Vicente Bungalows in West Hollywood. The only thing that I care about in an ice cream cake is that there's ice cream. What? <laughs> I could have just made ice cream. <laughs> I mean, there should be other elements, but that's the biggest thing for me. If there's no ice cream, it can't be an ice cream cake. For me, a good ice cream cake has more ice cream than cake. And it also looks nice. It has to be even and clean. You don't want it to be melting. Ice cream cake can be very difficult to make. You have to make sure that your ice cream is the perfect temperature, that it's not melting too fast, and that all of your other layers and ingredients are ready to go. It's really a race against the clock. Look, we're at the end of the season. It's time for Eugene and I to let loose a little. <laughs> yeah, I might have the most aggressive cake in all of history. All right, kids. In three, two, one. Ice cream! Okay, all right. I don't remember how to make ice cream from that episode. That powdered peanut butter, what the hell is that? Eugene, what are you making today? I'm making spice cream. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Spice cream cake. My inspiration for this is hot and cold. I wanted to confuse and tantalize and, you know, maybe arouse the judges a little bit with a surprise spice in the ice cream cake, which is why I'm just calling it my spice cream cake. Well, if you ask me, the sound of the summer is BTS. I am Jimin, I purple you, little seven. I'm making a seven layer BTS cake. Been doing some research. I found out that the boys love churros. What? BTS freaking loves churros. I'm making a churro flavored ice cream cake. My wife's favorite type of candy is Snickers. I am going to be making a life-size Snickers ice cream bar ice cream cake, AKA mommy's favorite. The best type of ice cream is the Snickers ice cream bar. What's gonna be challenging for me is I want to attempt something I've never done before, which is to make a mirror glaze. I am also actually taking inspiration from my family member. My dad not only does love cinnamon raisins, he also loves peanut butter. I'm making a classic peanut butter and jelly as a sandwich as an ice cream cake. Cool. We're making peanut butter and jelly swirl ice cream and putting it between two pieces of vanilla cake that we're gonna try to make look like pieces of bread. Once again, we're savoring the summer, baby. What is a treat that's actually combined of mostly sweet things that still somehow taste savory? A peanut butter and jelly sandwich. 
Now, we were given an option today. You can make your own ice cream from scratch, or you can take ice cream and cold stone it in. Now, this is a cold stone. Apparently, it's very cold. I love cold stone creamery. So I'm gonna take a vanilla base and mix in things and do that chopping and get really strong arms. We are gonna make a banana split ice cream cake. And today, we're gonna make a traditional ice cream base called a creme anglaise. We're going to use cream and milk, egg yolks, and white sugar. And here we got milk, heavy cream, vanilla bean, vanilla sugar. I've taken some more difficult to handle spices and I'm going to try to incorporate all of them into a multi-layered spice cream cake. Both the cake and the ice cream are going to have high levels of unique spices. Okay, I got a question here. Why do we only have natural peanut butter? Give me some jiff. I've got to taste it. I've got to figure out what to do. So now I'm making a sandwich to think about it. <laughs> Can I have a bite? Mm-hmm. Okay, he almost bit my fingers off. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that is gonna be going into my cake, so I wanna make this first step easy. Here is the real challenge today. I cannot taste what I am making. This is the most dairy of all of the dairies. I'm just gonna be mixing in flavors, hoping for the best. So one of them is gonna be more vanilla forward, one's gonna be more chocolate forward. I'm gonna try to, you know, double fist these ice creams. Okay, so I gotta prep this ginger. Let's try it. Man, that was a good sandwich. Oh no, oh no. What? I got powder in my mouth, man. I got powder in my mouth. Oh no. Oh no. Keith. It's so dry. Here, take some of my milk. That helped. Okay, good. Since we're using egg yolks, we have to cook this to 180 degrees. So my milk, my cream, and half of my sugar is now starting to get hot. I'm going to pour about half of this mixture into my egg yolks. Now this mixture that's nice and warm, no longer cold, is gonna go straight back into our pot. So the reason we do this is so that you don't pour your cold egg yolks straight into hot milk. That's gonna just scramble your eggs right in there. I think you're supposed to do like certain ingredients together and then let them cool and then put new ones in. I'm just gonna dump everything in a pot. Gonna double whisk, baby. Double whisking. Okay, I got my cold box. Whoa, that is cool. You're like a Cold Stone Creamery boy. Pop out some ice cream. All your life, you've seen it at Cold Stone. You've wondered, can I do that today? I'm gonna find out. Cinnamon toast ice cream, the taste you can see. <laughs> Oh man, who knew being a Cold Stone guy requires so much forearm strength? Hey, yeah. Yeah, you want peanut butter? Yeah, you got it, of course. Yeah, hey, ring the bell on your way out. We love a good tipper. So my chocolate side, my first major spice is some chili powder. Restraint, Eugene, show some res restraint. Well, <laughs> oh, that is a con using smell. Now, this one I'm using a French vanilla base because BTS once performed in Paris. Oh, like most artists. Yeah. Say you wanna add a bunch of different spices. You wanna add cinnamon and nutmeg. I would do that while you're warming up your milk and your cream. So you start to steep and infuse those flavors. But if you do add something like chocolate, any other ingredients that are gonna add a lot of fat, so something like a peanut butter, those ingredients are going to make your ice cream extremely firm when they're frozen. Flavor I'm really excited by, wasabi. You are out of your mind. Vanilla has uh, wasabi, Szechuan pepper, and ginger. And then my chocolate has chili powder, cayenne pepper, and paprika. <laughs> wow, that's the steam is actually burning my eyes. Now what I'm doing over here is I'm whipping ice cream. <laughs> I don't really know what that's gonna do, but let's see. Wow, the texture got even silkier. That's kind of cool. Right now this is like a little too simple. So I'm gonna maybe find some fresh berries and some nuts to put into those layers so it's not just mixing ice cream that's already good in with flavors that are already good. I basically finished incorporating the ingredients. I'm just gonna strain them and whenever they're cooled down, I can put them in the ice cream makers. That's not half bad. Yeah? So we need to let this base chill. You don't want to pour a hot ice cream base directly into an ice cream machine. Once it's cold, then we're going to pour it into our ice cream. OK, I got myself a cold jug. And my idea was that I would mix it with uh, nougat. But I don't really know what nougat is. Like, how do, what's the inside of a Snickers? OK, so um, I'm going to strain these and then let them cool. I forgot that the whole point of me doing this was to color it, so I want you to cut into the cake and just, I want it to look like the dynamite video. True BTS fans will know which color corresponds to which. <laughs> I don't need to waste your time with it. Since we can't buy nougat, I'm gonna make nougat. What's in nougat? 
I don't know either. Melt some marshmallows. Hell yeah, Ned. Let's go for it. Mm -hmm. Sweetened condensed milk, white chocolate chips. And you know me. I'm Italian. So I'm going to put a little disaragno. I'm making a heart. I thought, you know, I have this powdered peanut butter. What should I do with it? Maybe I should make art. <laughs> this is my friend. This is my new friend. Five minutes. You almost ready? No, I don't uh, We only have like five minutes left, ah. right? It's funny, because I'm making the homemade ice cream, and you're just constantly running at top speed to color everything. I'm sorry it has to be like this, but you just don't make any sense. No! No! I'll never join you. Why does it smell like roasted marshmallow? Oh, God damn it, I'm making s'mores. Oh, no. Oh, Get no, off. Ned. Get off. Oh, no, Ned. I don't know if it's no gap, but by God, if it isn't something, no gap, no problem. One minute. There's a taste you can see. <coughs> yeah. This one's going to be whatever color I grab. I wrote a thing down. I hope uh, maybe turquoise. Take it. We're going to drizzle. I love this. Putting something steaming hot straight into there. I love it. Three, two, Three. one. Oh. Hands ah. up, bakers. Okay. So as our ice cream set overnight, we'll return tomorrow to make our cakes and decorate and see who's gonna come out on top in the ice cream cake finale. We'll see you then. Good morning. It is the second day in the Tri Kitchen. Time to make the cake. The guys will have one hour and 30 minutes to make a cake of their choice. Well, I'm making cake. I am not making a cake. I believe the ice cream cake is mostly ice cream. You got an ice cream layer this big and whatever something in the middle like this big, maybe even this big. And if the other guys are baking cakes, I think they're doing it wrong. I really am trying to bring a sandwich to life. So mm, I need to figure true. out what makes something white bread. So we're gonna eat some white bread again. It is my goal to create a great cake for Rosanna. This is my redemption. Everyone has failed at these components except for Ned. It may be a redemption story for the other guys, but my ice cream, my cakes, it tasted pretty good. I've got that target on my back more than ever. Now, when you bite into a perfect Snickers bar, the top of it is everyone's favorite part, and that's peanuts and caramel. So I'm gonna be done pretty quickly. I plan on using my remaining time to get a couple of attempts at my mirror glaze. Uh, the plan was three, technically four cakes. I might make one of the layers something else. I'm not really sure. Look, I have four more members of BTS to cover between the layers of my cake. Can I get in there? Yeah, give it a sniff. What, what do you think it is? Like, what is white bread? I was trying to think like, how do you make something taste like white bread? But then I'm like, what does white bread taste like? Man, just an insane amount of preservatives. It just tastes kind of like, Sugar yeast. Hey, we could call up Flowers Bakeries LLC from Thomasville, Georgia. They have a phone number on here. Let's call them. <laughs> Hi, um, my name is Keith. I was wondering, I love um, Wonder Bread, White Bread, and I was wondering what you thought was maybe like the secret to what makes it taste so good. It's not like a special secret ingredient. I, you know, it's just all in the formulation from our innovation team. Innovation team. Okay, well, thanks for your time, and thanks for bringing us over 100 years of delicious bread. We are gonna make a banana sponge cake. We're gonna start with brown sugar, two eggs, and we are gonna whip those on high speed to get nice and light and airy and get some volume in there. And then I'm gonna add in my bananas. So the question is how many eggs is the correct amount of eggs? I'm gonna do two right now. It just doesn't seem like enough for all this stuff. I'm gonna say three. Listen, I did 12 last time. That's a lot. This seems super wrong. I put a full stick of butter in there and then I took it down and I thought it was too much. I think I was right. I'm just putting it all back in. When you think about the cake component of an ice cream cake, you have to remember that your entire cake's gonna be frozen. So any cakes that are super high in butter, a fat that is very hard when cold, is probably not ideal for your ice cream cake. Maybe I should call up Snickers. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Hey, how's it going? My name is Ned, uh, and I'm a big Snickers fan. I was wondering what is in the, the nougat? It's just um, white sugar and vanilla. Uh, how does it get that Sorry, kind of? Uh, egg whites. Oh, egg whites. Egg white sugar. Sugar and, and the rest of it is just caramel, peanuts, and chocolate. Exactly. Wow. These people. So nice. You're sweet. My bananas are fully mixed in. I have milk and I have grapeseed oil. Normally with cake, I think we would use milk, but there's no milk in the Wonder Bread recipe. So we're gonna go with water. God, this looks just terrible. Is two eggs too many? It just is eggs. That's all I'm seeing is eggs over here. Is there cream and cake, Zach, do you remember? Is there milk or cream and cake? Oh, shit. It's a goopier batter. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't know, man. I'm gonna put some in, though. Me no, out, don't, do, don't, don't just do it I because I said it. Me out. Oh, God. I don't know, I don't know if 
there's some milk in the cake. I just, it can't hurt, it can't hurt, just a little bit of milk. So in here I have flour, salt, and baking soda. If you use too much baking soda or too much leavening agent in general, your cake is gonna rise up, but it doesn't have enough stability to hold all of that air, and it's gonna collapse in on itself. So we got two cups of cake flour, one cup of bread flour, uh, one and a half cups of sugar. We're gonna throw in a little yeast, not a ton. I'm gonna experiment. Maybe I can make like a kind of like a shortbread, kind of a cookie base. Let's see, in my shortbread will be my, a lot of butter, salt, flour, my boy Disarano's back, vanilla. Oh, I broke the whisk. Oh my God. My secret ingredient is my own blood. <laughs> We have baking powder, baking soda, a little bit of yeast. Of course, there's eggs in it, and our butter's all melted. Alcohol time, baby. Gene's adding some spicy fireball whiskey, every college student's favorite, gumbe. Gumbe. Oh, it's not good at 9 a.m. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh my God, are you kidding me? What has happened? It didn't even mix at all. What happens when you overmix your cake is once you add your dry ingredients, your flours, you're gonna develop way too much gluten and you're gonna get a really dense and chewy and tough cake. I really just, I just really don't wanna overmix it like last. I know, I know. It's grainy. So my special uh, spices are the fireball whiskey, cinnamon, and nutmeg. These are my spices in my chocolate cake. And I remembered I overspiced things, so I'm just gonna do that much. So I don't have any lumps of flour. I don't have any streaks of fat in here. I'm very happy with how the batter looks. So I'm going to evenly divide it between my two cake pans. I have made my caramel and peanut mixture. I'm gonna layer it over my ice creams and then I'm gonna put them back into the freezer. I'm greasing my pans, but only on the sides. I'm gonna put a little uh, parchment paper here in the bottom to get it out. I forgot to food color it. We don't have time to put it back into the Thing. I'm trying to like keep my energy really calm so that I don't end up overdoing things so that I f up my cake. Same. Like last time. Oh my God, look how appetizing that is. Oh yeah. Uh, let's put some yellow in it. Oh, it's orange. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my Zach, God. <laughs> are you making pesto sauce with tomatoes? What the f are you doing? Why is it has a yellow cap? Why would that be orange? Oh, it looks like diarrhea. <laughs> I asked for something fire or heat related, so got this fire truck tin. I wanna fill these cake pans not even halfway. We're not making a super thick cake, so I'm gonna fill this about a third of the way full. If you fill a cake pan to the top with your cake batter, you're gonna have a huge overflow. So always remember that you need room for your cake batter to grow in the oven. <sighs> I think that that'll bake. <laughs> in the oven. 30 minutes, and if it doesn't rise, then we failed. And we're probably gonna make a cake out of bread. Maybe we should just prep that, just in case. I'm baking these cakes at 350 degrees. These cakes are gonna bake for about 10 20 minutes. minutes. Okay, I'm gonna make another batter. Wait, you're making a whole new batter? Yeah, I'm making a whole new one. In all of our Without a Recipes, I've never talked about Zadiko Tico. So I'm gonna make a, a green tea clementine cake. <laughs> That really pours, huh? I'm gonna try and do a trial run of my Muir glaze. So I've got melted chocolate. <laughs> so we've got our main bread, and we've also got a French toast bread cake, and we'll see which one we use. Maybe if they all come out well, we'll make it a little peanut butter and jelly club sandwich. Now the green tea layer, of course, will be orange. Look, I've really struggled with presentation in the past, so more than anything, I just wanna make sure it looks great today. It's sort of like it needs to go on really thin and then harden quickly. And I think it hardens from the chocolate, right? What are you gonna test it on? I think I should test it on this cardboard box. Oh yeah, that looks, oh my God, so good. How is it so chunky? Yum, yum, yum. My first looks like diarrhea. I'd be remiss to not say this does kind of look like vomit. Oh no, only 10 seconds. And here he goes. Beautiful. Three, two, one. Hands up, bakers. Woo! Wild success for Ned Fulmer. It looks delicious. It's already hardening. My one goal in this episode was to make a cake-like cake. Yeah, same, bro. I don't know if I did. Well, we'll find out. 30 minutes later, it is time to check the oven. Okay, let's Here see. Here we go, Eugene, let's see how it looks. Oh! oh. oh. Wow. I guess my theme was fire, so. Holy shit. Oh, there's wow. smoke. What the f I think mine's done-ish. Yeah, let's take this out. Seems like the other guys are pretty satisfied. My form factor is All like right. this, right? Yeah. So I can pick just the most perfect part. It's not gonna work, guys. 
What do you mean? You think it's, it's just done? done? I just wanted to make a cake. That was my only goal, was to make a good cake. That's, yeah, it's, I'm, I lost, I'm done. What do you think, you, you think your cake's just a goner? <laughs> hey, Eugene. It's done, it was you... the only thing I wanted to do was make an okay cake. It's done, it's done, it's done. I think I just filled it up too high and it's too big of a tin. See, this is why you, you can't care in these videos. I just cared, I wanted to make a good cake. I wanted to impress Rosanna Pensino. And now it's popped, <laughs> it's deflated. Ironically, it's about now the right size I needed it to be, which was half the tin. That's perfect. Maybe it was so bubbly and tall, and it went big. And now it's not. Maybe it lost height when you lost confidence. <gasps> if you believe in yourself, it'll puff up again. <laughs> puff back up. Yeah. I do believe in fairies. Nah, you might have to rebake it. Aw. Cheer up, Eugene. Now the guys will have 45 minutes to assemble the ice cream cake. That was very sad. I don't like taking things seriously, so I'm gonna try to bring up the mood, go with the flow. I have an idea to salvage this. What's going on with that, uh, that, that burnt, that's garbage? No, the burnt crisp is gonna come in later for a surprise. Yours lost the color. Yeah, my cakes look and feel good. It looks more appetizing than it did before. I only have five layers. BTS got seven members. I gotta step it up. 45 minutes, here we go. Yeah, we're almost done. Uh, <laughs> it is not what I wanted it to be, but it does look like white bread, but it's dense. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little measuring. That's about halfway. So these have been baking for about 25 minutes. Golden brown color on them. It also, when I touch it, it springs right back. So I know that it's super light, super fluffy. Really tried not to over mix it, and uh, it seems like it might have been over mixed. You know, we have the other cake though. We did make our, our French toast loaf. Let's see how it's doing. We threw it in the fridge to cool it down. These are some crispy edges. This tastes way better than my What's the Tea Cake, and it also tastes better than my tea brownies. First step of any good cake assembly, crushing some Oreos. When you have other ingredients, let's say pretzels, cookies, those kinds of things, they're gonna start to absorb any moisture, so they're gonna tend to get pretty soggy. Okay, so I'm gonna start detinning my cake. <laughs> I can't wait to see. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. It broke. Okay, it's okay. This is gonna be in the bottom anyways. All right, here is my giant cookie. Oh, look at that, Ned. That's a thing. That's a thing. All right, so this is the base of my Snickers cookie. I have three ice creams and two cakes. I think it needs to be cake on the bottom, cake on the top. Here's the thing I'm thinking about and wondering. It's like, how long can I even work with ice cream before it starts to melt on me? So I wanna build my ice cream cake upside down so it's straight and even. So I have our vanilla ice cream that's layered with strawberries. And I'm gonna get this immediately into my pan. I'm gonna add even more spice into my spice cream cake and play around with these Red Hots. I'm uh, gonna make some a Eugene Original spicy Red Hot Jam. Whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> it looks like all of the tea is right there. Oopsie doopsie. It's sort of a custard bread. <laughs> that is really beautiful. But let's make it a square. It seems to be working. Maybe I should have made it a little wider. So I literally just kind of thought of this for this recipe. I'm gonna take my pulverized Red Hots and add them to my strawberry compote. So we're gonna do a nice layer of our chocolate fudge sauce. And now I'm gonna sprinkle in my crunchy layer, which is my peanuts. We need that layer to totally set before we put our next layer of ice cream on because if it's not set, all that's gonna happen is when we put our heavier layer of ice cream on top, all of that filling we just spent the time to make nice and even is just gonna squish all to the edges. Oh, my cakes are melting. We gotta go, baby, we gotta go. Yeah, look at you. This is incredible. We gotta keep going, though. Oh, there's how many of these are you doing? Shit is melting. Oh, my plan was three, but I have four, so I guess I'll do four, give it some height, some drama. That's, wow. Ned, I'm really quite impressed. <sighs> Get after it. Now it's time I start stacking my stuff. So these are my two ice creams. Wow, that's ice cream. That looks really good. Dude, actually. that's scooping good. I know, I Eugene. wish this was the actual ice cream episode, because this <laughs> is probably the nicest thing I've ever made on this show. Perfect ice cream. Have you tried it? Wow, that is <laughs> spicy. <laughs> so our first layer of our ice cream cake is in the freezer and it's been setting. So we are gonna get our vanilla ice cream ready to go right on top of our strawberry swirled fudge and nuts. And that's our vanilla layer. We wanna get this back into the freezer and let it totally set before we put our cooled cake on it. We got chocolate, a layer of Nutella with choco chips, ice cream, Oreo, ice cream, 
sent you clementine cake and ice cream. Seven layer, motherfucker. Boom! This is my chocolate layer, and then I'm gonna do the layer of the strawberry red hot jam, then the vanilla, and then the cake on the bottom. This is our jelly layer. So here we have a white bread inspired cake topped with jelly, ice cream. Then in the middle here, we have a egg custard bread layer made with real Wonder Bread. Then we have a peanut butter ice cream layer and we're topped again with our white bread inspired cake. Oh, you know what you could do would be funny? Huh. You can cut it diagonally and put like I little stickers in. I was thinking of cutting it like it was a big old sandwich at a restaurant. Yeah. Okay, so here we have our completely baked and chilled banana sponge cake. Now what we're gonna do is place this directly onto that vanilla ice cream layer, but I am just going to flip this over and set it and press it into our ice cream so it really holds on. And now I'm just gonna wrap this plastic around it to keep it protected in the freezer. And it's going back in the freezer for probably about at least two hours. So we're getting some serious meltage over here. Luckily, everything's gonna be refrozen. Yeah. Normally, I think you would wait for this to freeze, then do the different layers, but we don't have time. Oh God, it's melting into it. It's all melting into each other. One minute. Oh, I think I just ruined everything. I think if you put that on, it may just fall through. I think you just need to get that in the deep freezer. Here we go, here we go. Okay, watch out, Zach, watch out, everybody. Let's get back in there, I'll fix it later. I really should've, I shouldn't put these on together. <sighs> this is ruined. Three, here we go, two, here we go, here we go, one. Here we go. Hands up, bakers. Ooh. Uh, I really wish they could have tasted them individually. I know. The best things ever made on this show, now they're ruined. We don't know that. Mm, I'm, I'm done. That's really, really sad. Should have done them like maybe separately, not on top of each other. It was just the red, the jam made it, melted everything. He knew what to do. It, yeah. We didn't have time. Normally you would. Um, freeze one ice cream layer, then add a cold jam, then add another frozen ice cream layer. But we were trying to do this in a very short time, so yeah. <laughs> that might have been a rough day, but there's always tomorrow. For the third and final day, the Try Guys are all back together in the kitchen to decorate their ice cream cake. <laughs> They will have two hours to make their frosting and finish the cake before presenting it to the judges. I'm wondering what frosting goes best with white bread. I'm sorry? Well, everything about mine is sort of inspired by the miracle that is white bread. Even Wonder Bread themselves didn't know what it tasted like. I chose a whipped cream frosting. All I'm using today is going to be heavy whipping cream and confectioner sugar. We're gonna mix this to pretty soft peaks. I think buttercream slash whipped cream, maybe a combination of those. That's what I'm doing, I'm doing buttercream frosting. Yeah. In honor of BTS's Butter, the song of the summer. And I want it to be purple. I am making a chocolate mirror glaze so that my ice cream cake looks like one giant Snickers ice cream bar. Oh my God, I'm stressed, but I'm trying to melt this white chocolate down so that I can color it and create a, a tempered chocolate shell. Mirror glaze, it's gotta harden somehow. Yeah. I'm slowly adding in my gelatin mixture to my chocolate. Any sort of candy coating, white chocolate or dark chocolate that's going on top of your cake, it's gonna be super, super hard when it's frozen and it's gonna make it difficult to cut through and probably difficult to eat as well. Is that hot enough to melt ice cream? My heart tells me to just freaking go for it, man. I have this leftover juice that's the red hot strawberry okay. consomme extract. So I'm gonna add it to this to give it like spice, make it red, all right, so we're gonna make some peanut butter frosting with this peanut butter powder. I think I need way more butter. It's just butter, sugar, whipping cream. I kind of thought that it was just gonna be butter and sugar. sugar. I have five sticks of butter in here. So I'm creating the design of like the tires with crushed Oreos to get the black, and I'm using the silver sprinkles to create the hubcaps and the ladder and the, the fender. Are you making a fire engine cake? Yeah. Oh my God, Wes, Wes will love, would it. love it. Okay, so I'm gonna try to pour this over everything so that that it kind of cements the designs I've already created in here. Now I'm gonna pull my ice cream cake out of the freezer. Parts of my chocolate sauce are melting out. I am just gonna try to spread that. Oh my God. 
What the shit? I've got caramel everywhere. This is not what I was expecting to see. So this ice cream cake has been frozen all night and still is very soft. It's very warm today. So just be aware that anything you do with ice cream, you have to work super, super fast with. Let's see how she is looking. Oh, wow. Uh oh Oh, it's like a... Dude, that looks like a PB&J. Okay, now I gotta get this frosted Quick! Damn, Zach, you, yours is aesthetically so pleasing. Yours yes. is great. Yours looks great. I've never had anything aesthetically pleasing in the history of the show. That's all I'm really going for today. I have like just enough frosting and maybe not enough. That's, I use six sticks of butter. Okay, we're cutting our sandwich in half and it's funny. I mean, I'm... <laughs> oh uh -huh. my God. Wow. That looks Keith. like a chicken cutlet. Keith, that's <laughs> awesome. Did you make a chicken sandwich? So um, I'm trying to pull my ice cream last just in case. It starts melting because I have so much decorating to do. So I've squared up my cake. Looks a little better. It's still not very, very even. I'm just getting everything clean, getting everything presentable, getting everything centered, and then I'm gonna pour it on and then back in the freezer. This is solidified enough, so now I'm gonna try to, to get this out, but I'm a little worried. The goal is that when I flip this over, it'll retain the designs I made. I'm just gonna try to knock it. Somebody does that. Holy wow. shit. Ain't no point somebody does that. Holy cow, that I looks was not incredible. That. I mean, I don't know how it's gonna taste, but we'll see. Who cares? How I'm gonna start to frost this is I'm gonna take some of my whipped cream and I'm gonna kinda pour it right on top. And then I'm using an offset spatula to spread it. Let me tell you what, the ice cream melting makes it really hard to put frosting on it. It's just you're putting it on and it's slipping right away. It's like, okay, the frosting, when it hits the ice cream, is getting cold, but it's also making the ice cream melt. Right? So the frosting is freezing, uh -huh. but the cake is melting. All right, here I go. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. Wow. Oh. Don't melt. Don't melt. So if you do decide to glaze your cake, you have to think about all of the temperatures involved. Your ice cream cake, again, is frozen. So remembering that pouring anything hot or even warm on your cake is gonna start to melt it. You can see the nuts through the top, which isn't working. I'm really sad, man. <sighs> everything, everything is looking great. My ice cream's really melty. Hey, Ned, Ned. Huh? I was really sad this whole episode. So let's be sad together. Let's be sad together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I'm gonna pipe some whipped cream up top. Not a real design, no rhyme or reason. I want a nice little mound of whipped cream. Those brulee bananas. We also have some strawberries. I'm putting all my frosting into piping bag, cover up that first layer with a maybe a more artistic layer. Now I made myself a little BTS stencil. And by I made it, I mean I asked Sam to make it. Guys, I've got it. I have my emergency cookie. I'm gonna use my frosting, clean up the edges, uh -huh. make a really nice square cake, and uh -huh. then I'm gonna do the mirror glaze again, this time not over the peanuts, but over the cookie. You're covering it? Mm-hmm. How come? Did you not listen to my fucking real Oh, plan? Did you just go over it? I wasn't. My I wasn't inspiration? Doing my, I was kind of on my own. 20 minutes. Okay, time 20 to go. 20 minutes, bro, as is when things are getting time real. Okay, so I'm just trying to get my ice cream off of this so I can transfer it onto the cake. I'm very concerned about how that's gonna taste, but it looks pretty. My solution to everything melting and getting messy was to cover it up with beautiful color. And it honestly wow. suddenly looks way better. 10 minutes. I'm trying to decorate before this melts. It's all melting now. Ah. So I've now reconstructed it. I had a backup cookie. I've put it on top for a more firm structure. We're just gonna go for it again. Moment of truth. Time nice. to sloppy. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Look at that. A little sloppy, but hey, that's all right. So we're gonna cut into our ice cream cake now. And ideally your cake is very frozen, although a little tempered, it can't be rock hard. On the very bottom, we have our banana sponge cake. We have our vanilla ice cream. You can see dripping down is that chocolate fudge sauce. And then up above that, you can barely see it, but there's some of that strawberry in there. Then we have our whipped cream and our topping. I think I'm gonna let my mirror glaze cool and my gelatin harden. Teamwork. Mix team, the teamwork. Team kind of like BTS, you know? Together, as a team, they make magic. Kind of like us, the Try Guys. Yeah. I guess what I'm saying is that the Try Guys kind of like the BTS of you two. And that makes me probably like the gym and the Try Guys. Yeah, 
One minute. The burnt cake is coming into play. I'm just trying to be a little creative with these things. Wow. They can't eat them, but it's creating a narrative. It's also covering up some of the mistakes. I mean, I covered all of my mistakes up with nuts and berries. I just started an idea that I don't know that I have time to finish. I love it when it's like all mirror glaze and then just like a little dusting of something, you know? 10, nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, six five, three off, four, three, off. three, three two, two. One. Yeah. Hands up, bakers. Yeah! Oh, I'm sweating. I, that was rough. That was a rough video. But at the end, at least visually, the concept's there. Hey, what so. did Eugene in this video have in common with the dog? Rough. Mm. We should cut. Welcome to the Without a Recipe judging of ice cream cakes. This is big time. This is the finale. As always, we will be judging on taste, presentation, creativity, and is it an ice cream cake? I hope we're gonna get a multi-layer ice cream cake, but if it's only single, I'm not gonna be disappointed because I like ice cream as well. I don't want it to be too sweet. I don't like super, super sugary dessert. The only thing that I care about in an ice cream cake is that there's ice cream. I am not looking forward to any savory ice cream cakes. So you don't want to savor the summer? <laughs> <laughs> Judges, this season, I really wanted to embrace what we have, and that's a summer where life is returning to normal. Perhaps we would even savor the summer. And I know you don't like savory desserts. I think this is actually more of a salty-sweet combination, so maybe today we're assaulting the summer. Uh, but hopefully, I'm not assaulting the judges with the, the treat. Everyone loves a good PB&J. Everyone loves an ice cream sandwich. What if we made the classic sandwich everyone loves into an ice cream cake sandwich thing? <laughs> so I made a peanut butter and jelly ice cream sandwich cake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh my, oh my, I have to move this. There's frosting on top. Below that is a vanilla cake. Then you have peanut butter ice cream, bread pudding, which is made with Wonder Bread. Then you have a layer of jelly ice cream, and then you have another white bread cake. Keith, this is humongous. It's big. It's a big birthday party, and there's thousands of people attending. Uh, so what you have here is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Now, something I really wanted to do was bring you the flavor of white bread. Because white bread is is necessary for a proper PB&J. But I ask you judges, what does white bread taste like? <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> so to achieve it, there is a inner layer that is made of white bread. I was blown away by the presentation when it walked over. I was honestly, I was not expecting anything that great. Wow, that great? <laughs> this is going way better than the cereal bowl. Yeah, it legitimately looked like a sandwich. I'm looking at the layers, and I wish the ice cream layer was a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. But I, mean, I like that you have two different flavors, too. That's really fun. I'd love for you to take a taste. OK. Uh, there's a lot of flavors, you know, uh, between the frostings and the ice creams and the cakes and the peanut butters and such. <laughs> I'll get it. I think go for the thinner parts. Yeah. Is it the ice cream or the cake that's frozen? The cake. It's the white bread. It's the pudding. The white bread is. Frozen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that bread pudding. Oh, just go for it. Mmm. Whoa, the jelly ice cream has a lot of flavor. It actually tastes like jelly. The peanut butter ice cream has a lot of flavor. It actually tastes like peanut butter. The snozberries taste like snozberries. <laughs> Your ice creams are delicious. I can't eat the bread. The bread doesn't do much for it. Which white bread doesn't do much for you. But the peanut butter tastes just like peanut butter. It's really good ice cream. <laughs> What'd you put in the cake? Cake Did stuff. You do... I really didn't try to flavor it that much because I wanted it to taste like white bread. <laughs> I think it's honestly more like bread than like cake. Success. <laughs> <laughs> Is this very all dense. bread? Is it a sandwich? <laughs> it's heavy and hard to chew through. What about the bread pudding layer? Oh my God, no. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ice cream sandwich I've ever had. <laughs> but literally an ice cream sandwich. Biggest you've ever had. That's a superlative. I put three rising agents in the cakes. I don't know what the fuck happened. Oh yeah, you put yeast in this I, cake. Because it was supposed to be bread. You put yeast yeah, in yes. the cake? Yes. And baking 
baking soda and baking powder. It's one of the first ingredients of white bread. <laughs> you don't understand that oh, I was trying to bring to you gosh. something new. Key. What? <laughs> <laughs> What's hard here is that it's an ice cream cake. And you gave me half of that. You gave me the good ice cream stuff, but the cake is bread. Guess I just perfectly executed the wrong plan. <laughs> <laughs> Judges, is it an ice cream cake? Yeah. Yes. It definitely is. They seem so happy. It really just tastes like it's white bread. bread. <laughs> yeah. You, you did it. It tastes just like white bread. Success. <laughs> <laughs> Judges, if you ask me, the sound of the summer, why well, it's BTS. Y'all been streaming butter? I wanted to honor BTS. I want you to just think of me as your boy with love, okay? I proudly present my seven layer BTS ice cream cake. <gasps> I found out BTS loves churros. So it is three layers of differently colored churro ice cream with cinnamon toast crunch inside, chocolate cake, some Nutella, crushed Oreos, and then a green tea with clementine cake. That's a lot of flavor. Hell yeah it is. I'm, I'm excited for all of those elements when you say them individually, and I'm a little nervous for them all together. Most people didn't think that an idol group and a rap group would go together, but that's just what makes BTS break the mold. I'm really proud of you for the height of this cake. <laughs> Me too. It's so tall. I do appreciate it that it's decorated like a birthday cake. You've actually decorated the top of it with like a crown of piped buttercream. What are these on the, are these oranges on the top? Yeah. <gasps> These colors are really fun. Yeah, look at it, woo! I love all the colors that I'm seeing. Like, this is really fun to look at. This is like a celebration, look at this. But it's about the balance and harmony that it creates. Here balance we go. Balance fight, here we, whoa. Get ready to oh change my. your DNA. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna get bangfish. Uh-huh. Oh, hurt my, oh. my teeth. Look at her, she's, she's so perplexed and, ex and titillated. Ooh. What's going on, guys? <laughs> so, seven layers is yeah. what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I think it's the tea. What's mm -hmm. the chewy thing? Are there clementines in? Are there I think it's a frozen clementine. Oh, did you put in the orange or the peel? It tastes like the no, peel. No, it's peel. I'm so Wait, sorry. It's, okay. it's, it's whatever this I'm is. I'm the one who did it to you. It's really bitter. Cakes. Oh. It, there's I know what's happening. No, you don't. No. Objection, leading the judges. In the orange layer, Okay. Uh -huh. this bottom little brown stripe is all the tea leaves. And I keep getting it and oh it's really gosh, chewy and bitter. Okay. Oh. You put, oh. you put the tea leaves in the cake? Yeah. Zach, it's and really oh. yeah. bitter and, it's, and it got really hard. They all sunk down. Not a resounding sales pitch for my new product. <laughs> <laughs> the flavor of the cinnamon ice cream is good. The flavor is good. And the texture without the cereal was good. So, Friars plus cinnamon <laughs> is good. It's tall, it's impressive. This is bravery, this is a big risk. There's a lot, but there's not a lot that I'm loving because the chocolate cake, I wish it was more chocolatey. Is I'm this a chocolate cake? No, I'm so sorry, that was on me. It's a it's a brown plain cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, your buttercream is butter. Yeah, how did, how did you make it? <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Judges, is it an ice cream cake? Hell yes. Yes. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Judges, am I the Jimin of the Dragons? I don't really know what that means exactly. Oh yeah, that cinnamon toast crunch is awful in there. <laughs> It's, like it's very pretty, Zach. Mm hmm. Judges, is it a little cold in here? <gasps> Feels like we're getting a little frigid from all of these ice cream cakes. <gasps> Are you ready to heat it up? Wee 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 wee
judges, I present to you my spice cream cake. The concept was to try to create an ice cream cake that surprised you not with just the cold, but with a little bit of secret heat. The bottom layer is a chocolate cake with cinnamon, nutmeg, and fireball whiskey. <gasps> The ice cream layer was two homemade ice creams I made. One was a vanilla Sichuan pepper wasabi ginger, and the other was a chocolate cayenne paprika chili powder. You look at the definition of spicy, I just took all of that and threw it in there. I love this idea. If this was my birthday and someone made this for me, I, I would just love it. You got the flames here, you got, look at these, what's this? Is this a burnt cookie? What is what this? What is this, you two? Are you oh. Oreo? Well, so there were some baking mistakes that happened throughout, so there was an overflow of my chocolate cake, and I took the charred edges and remains and made it sort of the charred landscape. I am impressed and I love the fact that you used your burnt cake scraps as decor because I'm all for non-edible garnish. I have no problem with that. As long as I nail a cake that you can eat, I've won this challenge in my mind. Oh wait, is the vanilla and the chocolate separate? Yeah. Look how pretty. Yeah, the vanilla is there for sure. So you can maybe taste individually. So I think this is really awesome because you can see all of your layers. You can see your chocolate cake, you can see your vanilla wasabi, and then even pieces of strawberries mm -hmm. from that jam that you made. It looks really good. I'm still scared. <laughs> <laughs> the cake, cake looks very fudgy. So this has the cinnamon nutmeg fireball whiskey. Or brownie? I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's very fudgy, like a brownie. It's not a cake. But you ate Should it this we time. Try the ice yeah. cream. Mm -hmm. I don't eat that. Right? I think it's kind of good. Why does this work? I just think there's like. Not too much. It's like balanced. Not too Not much. Too much. Who am I? It's good. The chocolate's a little spicier. When you said wasabi, I was like <gasps> horrified. I was like, oh no. But it's actually really pleasant. You've created a new ice cream flavor. I could eat like a cone of it. Wow. It's really good. Really? Strawberries are so good. Okay, we're gonna take the perfect bite with everything. Cake, ice cream, jam, candy. Spicy. Confusion <laughs> verging on, and it's hot. Hot, it's hot. It's hot There's for me. There's the fire truck. It's hot for me. <laughs> wee, 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 wee. Ooh, hot, hot. hot. Individually, you know, I've really enjoyed sections, but all together, it's very hot. All together, it's like an overwhelm of spice. The spice is okay for me but the texture of this is so chewy. And this is too sweet. The whole bite together is not as good as all the individual layers. But individually, I loved most of your components. Judges, is it an ice cream cake? Definitely. Yes. It's a great ice cream cake. For is, sure. Is it hot and sexy? It is hot and sexy. <laughs> I couldn't serve it to Wes. <laughs> this is a children's nightmare. <laughs> Judges, my wife, Ariel, loves Snickers ice cream bars. So for this ice cream cake challenge, I wanted to bring to you a life-size Snickers ice cream bar cake. Oh. What you're going to see is four layers of homemade vanilla ice cream infused with homemade nougat, caramel peanuts in between, cookie on the bottom and the top, and a mirror glaze that is overlapping the sides. This is so fun. I think presentation-wise, I would have liked to have seen that mirror glaze on the whole thing, but it is shiny. Those are tricky, That's, though. You did a mirror glaze. Yeah, you did a mirror glaze. Okay. Look at those Whoa. layers. Wow. Look at those beautiful layers. These layers are sexy. <gasps> Woo! Ooh. Yeah. Homemade ice cream. No, Homemade there's ice no cream. Cake. No briars. I like cakes where really the cake is the ice cream. I'm just so impressed you made a mirror glaze. Can you see yourself in it, Ralph? I can see my finger. Look at that. I can see my finger. I can see the reflection. Oh, I can not see it. Did it, Dad. Did it. This is big. Hmm? <laughs> brain freeze. <laughs> yeah, I always get brain freeze. 
Oh, it's yummy. <laughs> <laughs> freaking out. Were you freaking out? Oh, see, I just wasn't sure what was happening. The flavors are delicious. I love the texture from the nuts. It's not like too sweet. Try a bite of ice cream just by itself. Oh, come. It's a little icy. It got icy. I think because you didn't have any stabilizing factors in it, no xanthan gum, no egg yolks or anything, it tastes like a little, it feels too watery. Too but you used strong. real vanilla beans, right? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. can see the flex. That's a nice touch. That's a pro move. I love seeing vanilla with the specs. Same. I would not be caught dead using a store-bought ice cream. Thank you, Ned. I mean, I agree with you. <laughs> I... I... Oh. I'm sorry, I'm having a moment. I just had so much sugar, I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> it's very simple, but you executed it very well, so it's mildly creative. And you're going up against the spicy fire truck and the seven layer BTS and the sandwich, it does feel less creative because I think someone has made this. But I think he did things that were really what, you know, real bakers do. I mean, you're kind of showing off some technique here. I appreciate that. Mommy likes technique. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You know, I don't. I didn't. I didn't. I, can't, I didn't. I didn't hear it before I. When I said it. When I said it. I just. I just reflexively say. Judges, is it an ice cream cake? Definitely. Quintessentially so. Oh yeah, I eat that whole thing. I haven't even had any alcohol today. I'm literally sugar high drunk right now. Yeah, I, I feel a little nuts. Let's start with the one we tasted first, which is Keith's peanut butter and jelly sandwich cake. I love the presentation and the creativity. I think it was great. It was a little too literal. Next up, the rainbow seven layer BTS cake from Zach. I was so proud of him for the height of that cake. And I think the cake textures are pretty good. Let's talk about the spicy fire truck cake. I was very pleasantly surprised by this cake. And I think he's created a new type of ice cream. Ned's somewhat perfect Snickers cake. It was delicious and it was perfectly layered. I mean, I was obsessed with how even every layer was. It just was underwhelming compared to all of the other guys. Everyone did something a little crazy today and Ned did something um, logical. Hi guys. Hello judges. We're back. Hello boys. First of all, it can be very difficult to make a cake alone. Uh, it's more difficult to make ice cream cake because of all the other things that can go wrong. So the fact that you guys were able to make four successful ice cream cakes without a recipe is wild. It blows my mind. I'm incredibly impressed. We're so proud of you. I have the honor of announcing fourth place. I guess in this case, the loser. Now, the loser of this <laughs> round. It sounds worse coming from your bright, cheery voice. <laughs> The loser of this round gave great presentation, whimsical, great ice cream flavors, but they committed a food sin, a, a sin that is not forgivable by any of us judges. They put bread in the cake. Keith, I'm sorry to announce that you are fourth place this episode. Wonder I Bread sought does to not make belong. something new. I brought you something you never had before, right? So did Eugene. We love it. So did the like Ned. He made something literally you can buy. I promise you, if you look online right now, you can buy what he made by someone else. I called Wonder Bread. I went, boo, 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 boo. Hi, what's the secret? They said, I won't tell you. Bam. So I had to make up the secret and put it in the cake. It was a sandwich, a sandwich my dad loves. I lost without a recipe ice cream. I lost without a recipe cake. And now I have lost without a recipe ice cream cake, all of which were tributes to my father. <laughs> Judges. <laughs> so third place had a lot of layers. 
And third place had a lot of flavor. Third place also had a lot of texture that was a bit leathery, <laughs> I think. Um, so, Zach, your BTS cake, it just didn't do the band justice. Sorry, that's so stupid. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> so I was better than Keith, though. <laughs> it's been a long time we've been making without a recipe. And I'm really excited to announce the winner of our summer series finale. On the one hand, you have a cake shaped like a fire truck that had the most delicious wasabi vanilla ice cream I've ever had in my entire life. On the other hand, you have a mirror glazed Snickers bar. The layers were perfect. You had cookie on top, cookie on bottom. Which one stole our hearts? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Both impressed us, both delighted us, but one eked out the other. And Ned, you're the winner of Ice Cream Cake! Oh, oh, mommy's favorite rides again! Finally, mommy's favorite, yes! Wow, thank you, judges, thank you. It was delicious. We were so impressed with the ice cream, the cookie layer. Come on, a mirror glaze without a recipe? Amazing. <laughs> Well, another excellent season without a recipe. Keith, take us out. I thought we were gonna savor the summer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you and good night. Good night. Zach gave you gummy bitter tea cake. You like that? You like that, Ro? You just think this is good? <laughs> <laughs>